Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is John Watts. I wanted to follow up on a couple of comments we received recently on our video on Rule of Evidence 106, which is known as the Completeness Doctrine. So I'll do this in two separate videos, I think. So the first comment here is, when I get in court and it feels like I've won, how do I ask the judge to erase the debt from my credit report? Or is that automatic? Please do a video on wrapping things up when we win. Thanks for all you do. Well, you're very welcome, and I appreciate your comments there. So it's a great question. Let's say that you do go to court and you win your case. So what happens? Well, the judge does not control the credit report. So the judge is not going to say, okay, now that I ruled that you, the defendant, have won, I'm going to tell Equifax, Experian, TransUnion to fix your credit report. So the judge won't do that. The judge just issues an order saying that you won. So what you need to do with that, in my opinion, now you got to look up your own state laws and all that stuff, but I'll tell you what we do in Alabama, is there's really two possibilities. One is we may just wait and just see what does that debt buyer do or original credit or whoever you've beat. What do they do with the credit reporting? So, you know, we beat them here and then 30 days goes by and they update our report. Do they delete it? Or do they leave the balance on there? And then 60 days, what do they do? 90 days, 120, what do they do? And at some point during that process, we may say, you know what? They know they lost, okay? Because obviously they had a lawyer there and they lost. And even if their lawyer didn't show up, they still got a copy of the order. So they know what happened. They never should have updated. They should have immediately deleted it. Well, if they updated in 30 days, Maybe we just sue them if it's a debt collector. So we sue them under the FDCPA. And there's a number of theories under the FDCPA, but you kind of want to zero in on 1692E8. So we have a video uh, that covers that section. I think we actually have two videos that cover uh, section 1692E, but it's subsection 8. And it basically says, a debt collector cannot credit report information that they know is false or they should know is false, okay? And then it gives an example. If you dispute the debt, they have to mark it as disputed. Well, certainly if you have a judge saying you do not owe this debt, then that should not be on your credit report. So sometimes we just sue them for that. But a lot of times we'll dispute it. And so what do we say in the dispute? Well, again, there's different possibilities and it just depends on your situation. But one possibility is, you write a very detailed letter to the credit bureaus and you say, hey, look, uh, Midland Funding, Portfolio, Calvary, whoever it is, LVMV, they sued me. Here's a copy of the lawsuit. It concerns this particular account. I defended that case. I won my case. Here's a copy of the judge's order saying I do not owe Portfolio, Midland Credit, Midland Funding, LVMV, Calvary, whoever it is, I do not owe them any money. So get it off my credit report. Now, what happens if the credit bureaus say, nah, we're not going to get it off? Well, I'd be suing Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and the debt buyer, okay, Portfolio, Calvary, whoever it is, because they've all violated the FCRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. If you've shown you were sued and you won, and assuming your state which I think every state does this, says, hey, if you win a case, that means whatever you were accused of, you're not guilty of. Well, they accused me of owing $5,000 to Jefferson Capital or Portfolio or whoever it is. I don't owe them that money. So get off my credit report. Now, another possibility is you can do a dispute, but it's kind of a more, uh, for lack of better description, kind of a, a general dispute where you just say, look, Portfolio, Calvary, Midland, Jefferson Capital, whoever it is, they know I don't owe them any money. Go check with them. They'll tell you I don't owe them any money, and I want this off my credit report. Well, that's not really enough, in my opinion, to generally sue the credit bureaus because you haven't given them proof, but it sure is enough to sue Jefferson Capital or Capital One or Citibank or Midland Funding or whoever it is if they report back to the credit bureau, oh, yeah, 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 keep that $5,000 on there. They owe that money. When you beat them in trial, then I would sue the furnisher. That means the creditor, the debt collector, whoever you beat in trial. So 
I, that's three possibilities that you have. One, you can just wait, see if they will get it off on their own. If they don't, then you sue them under the FDCPA. If we're talking about a debt collector. Now, you can't do that under the FDCPA with Citibank or Capital One. Now, you may have a state version of the FDCPA that would allow you to do that, but you got to check your state law. And then the other two possibilities involve using the FCRA, Fair Credit Reporting Act. So again, you send a very detailed dispute. Here's what they sued me for. I defended it. I won. Here's the order. Or it's a more general thing. Hey, this company knows I don't owe them any money. Go ask them. They'll tell you I don't owe them this money. And then you wouldn't sue the credit bureaus. You would sue Midland or Capital One or whoever it is. So I hope that that's helpful to you. And let me know if you have any questions. And I can do sort of a more formal video and, you know, have some slides and stuff like that. But I just saw this comment and thought, well, let me just shoot this video real quick. And hopefully that's helpful to you. Okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye.